It has been confirmed that the flight data recorder, or FDR, from Line Air Flight JT610 was recovered. The Jakarta administration announced on Thursday that the 2019 minimum wage has been set at 3.94 million rupiah, or 260 US dollars. Ford and Baidu announced a joint two-year project to test autonomous vehicles in China. Welcome to our video daily updates highlighting important issues in politics, business, economy, sports, technology, and culture. I'm Ana Cecilia Regalado, and this is The Daily Post from The Jakarta Post. It has been confirmed that the flight data recorder, or FDR, from the Lion Air flight JT610, which crashed into the Java Sea on Monday, was recovered at around 10 a.m. on Thursday, the fourth day of search efforts. The FDR records variables like airspeed, altitude, heading, and vertical acceleration. Meanwhile, the cockpit voice recorder, or CVR, records verbal communication between crew members within the aircraft's cockpit. The FDR was brought to the surface by two Navy divers and has been sent to the National Transportation Safety Committee, or KNKT, headquarters in Jakarta for further investigation. The Jakarta administration announced on Thursday that the 2019 minimum wage, which has been set at 3.94 million rupiah, or around 260 US dollars, as stated in gubernatorial regulation number 114 of 2018. The figure is around about an 8% increase from the current minimum wage of 3.8 million rupiah. The announcement took place simultaneously with other regions across the country, as suggested by Manpower Ministerial Regulation No. 7 of 2013 on the minimum wage. In a written statement published on the city's official website, the Jakarta administration also cited its program to improve workers' welfare in the city through the Kartu Pakarja, or Workers' Card. Let's move on to technology. American auto company Ford and Chinese internet search provider Baidu Incorporated announced a joint two-year project on Wednesday to test self-driving automobiles, also known as autonomous vehicles in China, as the latter was reported to be suffering a steep drop in Chinese car sales. On-road testing will start by the end of 2018. The two companies will conduct tests in Beijing on roads that are specifically designated to self-driving tests. The goal of the project is to develop Level 4 autonomous vehicles, which are fully autonomous under certain conditions, but still allow human intervention, according to a standard set by SAE International. In the future, pending local regulations, Ford and Baidu might expand testing to other Chinese cities. So that is all for our daily updates. Stay tuned at thejakartapost.com and follow all our social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, or read our daily newspaper for more updates and news. I'm Ana Cecilia Regalado of Jakarta Post, signing off.